Yeah, hi everybody, Jeff Prentice. Uh, I want to show you my version of doing um, some of the color theory assignments where you're changing saturation, hue, tints, and tones. So let me um, switch over to Photoshop, which is my preferred program. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, you can see examples in student resources. Um, uh, a lot of people like to use Illustrator with the blend tool. I think doing it this way um, gives you more of an idea of uh, how the increments work in the colors. Okay, but everybody, you know, there's room for everybody in this business. So uh, I'm going to have my layers window open here. Always have your layers window open. That's going to be important. And then here's your toolbar. And the first thing to do is pick a color. Now it brings up your color picker. Notice how the color picker is arranged. You have your most saturated color. If you ever see this exclamation mark, that just means it's outside of CMYK. In other words, a printer wouldn't be able to match that probably. Okay, using that kind of a printer, uh, process printer. Okay, and you'll notice that if we go straight over, we go into the tints. If we go, oh, let's see, straight down, we go in the shades. And if we go this way, we get those tones and they get darker and darker and darker. So, I mean, you can move around as you get more comfortable with the color picker and start picking colors intuitively and, and, and you know, doing schemes. You know, just be aware that you have saturated, you know, lighter, darker, and, of course, your grays over here, which would be desaturated, right? And they all serve a purpose. Keep in mind that if you're working with, you know, super saturated colors all over the place in a design and you want something to appear like it's going farther back, you might want to desaturate it. Okay. You might want to emphasize a certain color and you might want to surround it with some desaturated colors or maybe, you know, for mood, you might want to have some darker colors, you know, to create a darker mood or a richer mood, right? So, well, so the first thing I want to do is pick a color. My color of the week is blue because I'm painting my walls blue. Okay, so. Uh, now, what's going to be really important here is your magic wand. And if you look up here, my magic wand tolerance is set to 10. Normally it defaults to 30. 30 is fine. As you get into some lighter colors and you start to use this and it starts selecting things around the area you're trying to select, just turn down the tolerance. I have anti-alias checked. Um, and so we're good to go here. Now, so I'm going to first, uh, we want to do our tints. So you're going to see that uh, I select that area. You know, it's not a perfect selection, but it's good enough. Now I'm going to fill this. Now I fill it with a Mac hitting uh, Option Backspace. Now you might want to do, you know, if, if you're doing it longhand, you do Edit. Oh, I never do it that way, so I have to look for it. Edit, dip, up, 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 fill, Shift F5. So whatever, you know, you find your keystrokes on the, uh, on the PC, if you're using a PC, it's going to make it a lot faster than going up here and having to select from the drop down menu. All right, so I've got my first color selected. Now I want to do tints. Okay, so obviously my next color is going to be this same color, but slightly lighter. All right, so uh, what I need to do is copy. Now, Apple C, Control C, Edit Copy. Go over here with your magic wand, select the next one, and hit Paste, Control V. All right. Now, you'll see it creates a new layer. That's going to be important. We're going to flatten this in a second. But first, we want to make this one lighter than that color. So, Apple U, Control U, brings up a very important tool that I use all the time, which is hue, saturation, and lightness. Okay, you can do these in increments. You can slide them around, right, and change colors. Look at that. It's beautiful. Or you can do it incrementally. And since we're doing a graph here, kind of a chart kind of a thing, we want it to be incremental, right? So we want it to be, we don't want to change the color. We don't want to change the saturation, but we do want to add white. We don't want to change the lightness of it, right? So let us add, I think 15 is a good number. Let's add 15 and hit OK. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is flatten everything so I can repeat the process. Let me go ahead and flatten that. Boom and I'm going to uh, repeat that process. Okay, so we're going to repeat the process now. Uh, we are going to, boop, 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 boop. we flattened it, right? So we're back to everything being on the same layer. Use that magic wand. And the wand tool is, if I recall, there's the move tool. Thank you. Uh, here's your, your move tool with is V. Your marquee is M and your wand is W. So. We're going to take our wand and we're going to copy 
Apple C, Control C, paste. Now I'm not going to go in, you know, I mean, copy, paste, it's the same in every program. It's Control C, Control V, you know, so um, um, I, I'm just going to go pr pretty fast through that. I don't think we need to go through edit, you know, copy. You can see the keystrokes right there for your particular program. All right, so uh, what do we need to do here? Apple U. And as I recall, we were doing lightness at 15. Boom. Flatten. Let me bring this over so you can see that layers window a little better. Flatten it. All right. Copy. Paste. Control U. 15. OK. Flatten. You know, I can do a little, um, there's, there's ways to um, accelerate this whole process if you use, if you, um, record it and make it into an action uh, but I don't want to do that right now so you, you can see with the keystrokes you go pretty fast you can get through this assignment and I think it, the important thing to see here is that you can do this in any composition once you get away from these um, little uh, exercises but let's say you're in a composition where you you know are doing a landscape or something and you want to make a cloud appear like it's farther back or something so you know you can desaturate it and we're going to talk in the course about ways that you can make things desaturated um you know adding the complement uh, adding gray you know of course right now we're changing the tints right and i'm talking while i'm doing this um and I hope I'm doing it right. Okay, flatten. You can see it's a repetitive process. Control U. Over and over and over. Now, if you do this with the blend tool in Illustrator, that's fine. Uh, it's just it just happens a lot faster, and it's more automated. I kind of like this by hand approach. It's old school by hand approach because I actually can see the iterations, and I have control over whether I want to make them in 15 uh, degree increments or whether I want to make them in 20 degree increments or you know whatever this is going to come in handy when you're making your color wheel as well okay so you can see here we got nice and light beautiful alright now we would do the same thing with shades let me just go ahead and flatten this I'm gonna take this color now I'm already in my magic wand I'm going to go to my original color. You know, the only thing that can, you can get messed up on here is if you, ha if you haven't flattened this and you try to select something and it's not selecting it, just look over in your layers window and make sure you're in your, your layer there. I'm going to hit V now, and I'm going to flatten. Now, um, what I want to do here is I want to get darker. So what I'm going to do is, and I don't think I want to do this all the way through for you, but I'm just going to show you it's going to be the same process but we are going to do minus 15 okay flatten select paste minus 15 can you see how that works I'm just going to keep going until I hit really dark there all right let us jump to um, tones progressing to a lighter value. Okay, so here what we want to do is tones progressing to a lighter value. We've got our flattened um, little graph composition thing here and so we're gonna uh, let me go ahead and select my blue again. Copy, paste, flatten, okay, copy, paste. Now what do we want here? We want a tone Okay, so we're going to desaturate, right? Um, and that means, let's go ahead and do minus 15 since we've been s sticking with that. And, but we also want it to get lighter. So why don't we um, go up here and add 15 to the lightness? So you see where we're going with this? We're doing the same kind of approach we did with tints and shades, but we're doing two steps here. We're selecting a color and we're desaturating it and we're making it lighter. Okay, flatten, select, copy, paste, control U, saturation, minus 15, lightness, 
what did we say? 15. There we go. All right. I'm going to I'm going to keep doing that, right? Uh, on and on through this. Flatten, select, <laughs> paste, draw you. I have to think a little bit. I'm, de I'm doing minus 15 here, and then I'm adding 15 here. Right. Okay. So it's a tone. It's going gray and it's going lighter. Boom. Now let's do our uh, and and you can continue on. You know, imagining what's going to happen there. Let's do tones progressing to a darker value. Let me get my blue, copy, paste. See, I've got the magic wand selected for this whole thing. Flatten. Uh, what you could, what I could do is do an action uh, up here. You know, it's a little more advanced. You do an action, and then you just have a keystroke. All I have to hit is say uh, F1, and it would automatically flatten. But I, you know, I don't want to do that yet. All right, select, copy. Paste, bring up my wonderful little hue saturation window. And here's what I have to think. I want tones getting darker. So I'm going to desaturate because I want tones. I want gray. But in this case, I want it to get darker. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do minus 15. You see how that slider is going down? OK, it's just the opposite of what we did uh, over here. Flatten up above here, and the uh, tones are going lighter. Flatten. Copy, paste, control U, minus 15, minus 15. OK. Flatten, copy, paste, control U, minus 15. Now I can hit my tab, and it will automatically jump me down to that field as well. Boom. So let's imagine that we've continued on and we finished that. And finally, tones maintaining a constant value. So let's go over here, select our color, select our tones, copy it. Well, we've already got it in the paste buffer, right? And um, we've got to flatten that. Hold on. Flatten. Hello. There we go. Flatten there. Flat. And copy. And paste. Well, it, it would help. And now. Let me redo that. I'm going too fast. Yeah. So I'm going to go over here with Magic Wand, select that, copy, Magic Wand, paste, Control U. Now I just want tones here, right? So what am I going to do? All I have to do is desaturate. So I'm going to go minus 15. OK. Flatten, select, copy. Paste, uh, desaturate, minus 15. OK. Flatten, copy, paste, minus 15. And I'll end up with these being desaturated. Once you get used, once you've done this graph and understand how this works, you can do this on the fly in your own. You can just add gray, add black, add white, you know, as if you were, you know, painting a, a painting or something. But hopefully, this gives you an idea of how to use uh, the hue saturation tool in Photoshop.